do you think that I know I know you got a hot take on this. Do you think that this harms their reputation or are they, you know, just protecting their brand in the face of unknown regulation? It's a good question. And uh, really what I would say is I would think that when it comes to their the old crypto community, it would definitely be ruin, ruining their reputation. But when it comes to the new people that are entering into crypto, that the people that are fans of a project like Solana, I don't know that it would actually be an issue for, for those individuals. Uh, it's sad to say. Now, when it comes to the KYC thing, um, I think that we're going to see a big push. And it's been mentioned before in, in legislation about KYC uh, wallets, uh, basically identified wallets. So if you want to be able to send your your funds to a centralized exchange or to an off ramp of sorts it's got to come from an identified wallet and basically this is just like i've said before in the past it's adding to tracking and tracing it's adding for chain analysis it's identifying that you're a crypto holder regardless of if you have to have uh, a board ape inside the wallet or not you're having an empty wallet you're just identifying yourself as a holder so you're kind of helping with that process we're seeing a big push with the irs we see Biden's crypto executive orders, so we can kind of see where things are pointing towards. And then you got to look at how much um, profit and money people have been making in this space, um, just selling uh, these NFTs and trading these NFTs. That's a big deal. Uh, the play to earn factor, how are they going to try to tax that? So it's just adding more factors. Um, I think we're going to be seeing this more and more. Um, and ultimately, I think for companies to play game and not have to deal with any sort of regulatory backlash, they're going to go ahead and do what needs to be done. Um, the other flip side to this is that we've got MetaMask involved and there's all the controversy with MetaMask, the JP Morgan stuff. So it just doesn't look good for MetaMask, for, for Bored Apes, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to the Bored Apes Yacht Club. Um, but when it comes to new users, they may have a different feeling on this. Um, there are some people who don't care about privacy. Uh, whereas I think those who do care about privacy, this is going to be definitely a big, huge problem for them.